right, man, let's talk about changes that the Pistons should make in their start rotation or just, you know, as they start line up. Um, thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and subscribe button, hit the bell icon button, hit all notifications. <clears throat> Increase your chance to get notifications. We go live and drop video. You got to try Pistons to our playlist for more videos like this. Now, um, I think maybe one of the reasons just to assume is that Monty Williams don't really want to change nothing to start lineup because I think you want guys to be comfortable in their roles because they're going to be getting guys healthy, so you don't want to continue to change people's roles. You know what I'm saying? And um, Boyanovich come back and you get Monty Morris back, I think it's going to be a lot of furniture moving just in the rotation in general. All right? Um, you know, why they got so many people that's, that's injured, I just don't understand it, but that's across the board in the league. But um, you got Monty Morris coming back, Bojan Bojanovic, Isaiah Livers. You know, and it sounds like Monty Williams put a lot of emphasis on how these guys' practice habits is. You know? And a lot of guys don't put emphasis on practicing. You know? Guys are better in what they do in the game, but these old school coaches, they need you to practice. You got to show it to them in practice before you could do it in the game. Remember, uh, Adrian Payne played for Michigan State. And Tom Izzo said he had to show he could shoot the three in practice before he was able to shoot it in the game. And we started making it in practice time. Izzo allowed him to start shooting threes. You know? So that's just something to think about for a minute. But nonetheless, uh, yeah, nonetheless, I feel that uh, that uh, that um. Uh, you know, let's just say that the lineup at its healthiest, they keep some of these guys. I feel that uh obviously K Ivy should be the backcourt. I don't I'm not mad for people who lobby for Sasser. Um, but K and Ivy. Alright. Then I like Boyanovich at the three, a short Thompson at the four. People are interchangeable. I think a short Thompson a better rebounder, play bigger than what he is. I'm gonna continue to get bigger and stronger still growing, you know, and during at the five, you know, um, you know, one thing that Sass are going to bring is a little bit more of a consistent shooter out there, but I think Ivy is improving enough as a shooter, that would be all right, and um, that's what I roll with, I like Stewart off the bench, I always said that, I think he's playing better this year, you know, Benjamin Foe was looking like he said he looked fatigued already muscular guy, you know, muscle is heavier than carrying and, you know, regular, you know, body weight. Um, it'd be interesting to see what they bring off the bench with, you know, I think Burks, Stewart, Joe Harris, Bagley, those guys be your spearheaded off the bench, you know, but I think Moyanovich is imperative for them having because what he bringing from a, a score and shooting aspect is going to take some pressure off of K. Problem is he's older. How much can you depend? How much can you, you know, continue to depend on him? That's the million dollar question. How much can you continue to lean on, on him? You know. So that's that's always my thing. How much can we continue to lean on the guy? So that's why, you know, you probably want to get a younger, a younger guy in there. You know, they can score and do those things, but I think his spacing, his scoring, his ability to get it off the, 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 the bounce, his ability to space the floor and shoot, um, is, is going to open everything up for everybody else. It's going to open some slashing lanes for Jay and Ivy. It's going to open some slashing lanes for Sure Thompson. I think you know, Ivy's correct shot creating and jump shot is going to create some things as well, too. So the offense is going to more versatility. And honestly, it might be a defensive upgrade. And I know it's probably going to be hard for people to say, well, I can assure guard Tobias Harris and those guys. He's more fleet of foot. He's not as thick as Tobias Harris and Isaiah Stewart, but he's more fleet of foot. But I think a change ain't coming um, rotation-wise because I think they're ready to get, they want to get, they want to get healthy and then implement guys. And they don't want to just constantly keep changing guys' role, but who 
know some of these guys can get healthy and they can get dealt. You know, and they can simply get dealt. So, um, so it's definitely gonna, it's definitely gonna be interesting. But you know, you don't know how many games they got to lose to play before he make a change in the rotation. But I think it should be Ivy K, more bulky when he get back. Ivy and Durham. And Durham got to get better at shooting free throws, defending across the board. And get him time to gel as a unit. So, you know, that's my opinion on it. But, <clears throat> but even coming off that bench, <clears throat> Burks, Bagley, Stewart, you know, we had Livers coming back and we shoot the ball. Can't really count on him. Can't never stay healthy. Monty Morris. So, but I think they need to find an identity about who they are. You know, you go to the, the bad boy Pistons. They was villains. They was going to win by any means necessary by winning a, win, wearing a black hat. You're going to work Pistons. They was going to outwork you, outgrind you. You know, they will and I'll fight you if they want to. Pistons don't have no identity, bro. You know, they don't have an identity. can't look and say, well, this is what they, you know, what? It's not one thing that they do well, so they got to find an identity. And I think that's imperative. So, you know, but I know Monty wants them to play defense, rebound, and stop fouling so much and all that stuff. But you gotta ask yourself at one point, maybe that these guys ain't the ain't the you know, maybe they ain't the ones that can do it. You know. Maybe this ain't the group of guys, but I think it, I think they can do it. You know, but I you know, just wait and see and see what would pop up and stuff, so um Yeah, wait and see what pop up, but um But uh I think should, you know, be the starting five. The rotation is going to be interesting. You got a lot of guards coming off the bench. Hayes, Monty Morris, and Burks, and a lot of guys. Joe Harris. So, you know, let's see. I think in another lineup, he can blend more shooting in there. So, but Harris and Monty Morris might get some burn some with some of them starters as well, too. So, be interesting to see, man. But, hey, you got to listen to our playlist. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Make sure the subscribe button is the bell icon button. Get all notifications. Appreciate your chance to get notifications. We go live or drop a video. Um, financially, want to support the channel? Cash up, dollar sign, CJ Blue 313. Memo, CJ Blue 313. PayPal link in the description. Appreciate the love and support. Let me know what you girls and guys think. Hit the link tree. You can find me everywhere there. Peace.